What's going on there, YouTube? And welcome back to another comic book video. All right, guys. So we are basically going to continue our coverage. Sorry, scratch that. Begin our coverage over Harley Quinn's 2021 comic book series. Let me explain why. So as we all know right now, we have the dawn of DC. And the dawn of DC is the current fresh start that DC is doing right now with their comic book line. And so this is the perfect time for new readers and veteran readers to jump back into DC Comics. Now, with that being said, though, when it came to the dawn of DC, not every single character started all over again with a number one issue. So like Superman did. Green Arrow did, Green Lantern, Doom Patrol, and Titans, even Cyborg did. But when it came to like Harley Quinn and Catwoman and certain other characters, well, DC didn't feel like to basically start all over again with a number one issue. And so when it came to Harley Quinn, this series right here actually started back in 2021. And so instead of just saying, hey, you know what? It's the dawn of DC. Let's go ahead, cancel her current series and launch a new one. They kept her current series going on, but it does lead through the dawn of DC. And I want to say it's right now issues number 22 or 23 that is actually part of the dawn of DC. I could be wrong there. Either way, though, the first about 20 issues are not about Donna DC, but we still have to cover that stuff to kind of help us get ready for the Donna DC for Harley Quinn. And so with that being said, today's video is going to be volume one. Volume one, the first six issues of Harley Quinn's 2021 series. Now, here's the thing, though. At this point in Harley Quinn's life, it does take place after Joker's War. On top of that, she's now technically part of the Bat family. And she's coming back to Gotham to actually help the Bat family keep Gotham safe. Now, her main bad guy is going to be a very interesting bad guy. But still, is Harley Quinn now officially a good guy? I mean, before this series, she was kind of good. She was writing that line between good and bad. But with this series right here, it says no. She is definitely good. She is trying to be a good guy now. So here is Harley Quinn Volume 1 for the 2021 series. I do hope you enjoy. Now, like I said just a moment ago, though, Harley Quinn is coming back to Gotham for the first time after Joker's War, and she's trying to be a good guy now. She's trying to basically make amends with the people she had actually hurt. And so what she does first is she goes into the sewers to apologize for her past actions to, well, Killer Croc. Now, Killer Croc is a classic Batman villain. It's basically a dude who has some kind of weird disease that turned into a crocodile-like man. Now, with that being said, though, Harley Quinn is trying to apologize to him for all the past things she has done to him. But of course, for Killer Croc, he's kind of like, you've done a lot of bad things. So your apology is not going to be accepted at all. Matter of fact, get out of my home. The sewers belong to me. And so this shows right off the bat that Harley Quinn's going to have a hard time actually, you know, getting folks to basically take her apology. Now, once she does get kicked out of the sewers and she does reach the surface of the city once again, she is surrounded by a crowd of people. Now, these people are actually upset with her. Now, when I say that, it's not because she's Harley Quinn. She did a lot of bad things to Gotham. It's really more of that she is a clown. Because like I said earlier, this takes place right after Joker's War. And Joker's War was a huge storyline where basically Joker attacked Gotham them big time and a lot of people were affected by joker's war definitely the public and they're tired of clowns because joker punchline and other characters that were working with joker basically caused gotham a lot of problems and so when they see harley quinn they're kind of like great another clown get out of here leave gotham but it's harley quinn trying to explain that she is a good clown that she's trying to actually help out. She's trying to help protect Gotham. But of course, the public does not care. 
because also after Joker War, people are just tired of superheroes and supervillains. So yes, they hate clowns, but they also kind of hate heroes are people in masks completely now. And so even though she's trying to say, I'm here to help, they don't care. And so she does leave and goes to her apartment. Now, once she does reach her apartment and thinking that she's going to have a quiet night and actually be able to relax and take a chill pill because tonight was a lot. Well, that is the moment she is confronted by Batman. Now, this is Batman saying like he knew that she was back in town. Well, he heard that she was back in town and he's wondering why is she back in town? Now, even though Harley Quinn's a good guy now, is Batman still wondering if he can actually trust her? Yes, Harley Quinn told herself she's a good guy, but to the eyes of heroes in the public, she's still a bad guy. Yes, you may say you're a good guy now, but until your actions show that you are a good guy, people can't honestly trust you. Now, for Batman, though, he actually does trust her a tad bit. Because again, she did help out a little bit in Joker's War. And because she did that, it's Batman kind of saying, you know what? I'll give you a pass for now to show me that you are a good guy before I basically lock you up. Now, she does tell Batman that her goal right now is to go to every single person in Gotham or very particular people in Gotham that she had hurt in the past that she wants to say sorry to, to hopefully show that she's now a better person. Now for Batman, he's kind of like, okay, whatever. Good luck with that. Like, that's your thing. Fine. Cool. Whatever. I'm out. Now you have Harley Quinn tell Batman that she thinks that she's part of the Bat family. For Batman, he's kind of like, slow your roll. <laughs> Hold up now. I said I'll let you work in Gotham. I didn't say you're part of the Bat family. But for now, he gives her a pass again. Now, after that, you do have Oracle actually call Batman to tell Batman there is some trouble nearby. And so you have Batman actually leave to go deal with this problem. But then you have Harley Quinn say she wants to help Batman deal with whatever problem is going on. And so she does leave with Batman. And we kind of find out what was the problem that Batman needed to handle. And what the problem is that right now at some kind of carnival or some amusement park, a fight broke out between two different groups. Now, one of the groups are basically clowns. Now, these clowns are people who used to work for the Joker, but with the Joker being gone, they're just trying to live a normal life or just go out in the city and have a normal day. But of course, because they have different tattoos and markings that show that they are clowns and they used to work for the Joker, of course, the public who were affected by Joker's war, they still hate clowns. Now, some of these people who are fighting the clowns also recognize some of these clowns for the things they did while Joker's war was going on. And so with that, you basically have this fight breaking out between people who hate clowns and clowns who are trying to defend themselves. Now, you do have Batman actually step in to help deal with this battle, but we didn't see one particular character that we can tell is going to be somewhat important for this entire series, or this book at least. Now, we're going to learn his name here in a minute, but while Batman is dealing with both parties, you do have this particular character run into one of those mirror games or mirror rooms you see at different amusement parks. Now, this clown who we see, who we know is going to be very important for the storyline, when he runs into this particular mirror room, of course, you do have Batman follow him. Now, this guy is actually freaking out because he's afraid that Batman is going to beat down on him, which honestly, Batman is going to do that because that is Batman. But you have Harley Quinn step in and say, stop, Batman. Let me actually help the clowns in this city. And what she means is that she knows that there are a lot of clowns in this city who were just being used by the Joker. It was Joker basically playing games with their minds and making them do different things that actually they did not want to do. Or they were just kind of trying to fit in somewhere and Joker took that as a chance to make them more clowns for his army. And so it's Harley Quinn saying that 
I think with my past with the Joker, I know where most of these people went through. And so I actually want to help the clowns in this city to help them actually get over what they actually did or what they went through by being with the Joker and his new girlfriend or new sidekick, Punchline. Now for Batman, he's kind of like, oh, okay, fine, whatever. Like, you know what? Do it. It's all you. I don't have time for this mess. And honestly, if you feel like you can help the clowns, then go ahead and do it. Now, we actually do learn the name of the guy who ran into that mirror game, and his name is Kevin. And Kevin's going to be somewhat important for this storyline. But as they leave the mirror room, you do have Kevin say, I heard you said how you are now working with Batman, how you're trying to protect Gotham, but you're also trying to help the clowns. I want to help you help the clowns because I know what they went through like you know what they went through. And so this is Kevin agreeing to work with Harley Quinn to basically save the clowns of Gotham. But then we jump over to Rockwood Hospital. Now Rockwood Hospital holds insane criminals. Now with that being said though, before we can dive deeper into the story, I do want to mention that this story does take place right before Fear State. Now remember, Fear State was a Batman crossover that used all the different Batman titles. So Batman, Detective Comics, Nightwing, I want to say Catwoman, but also Harley Quinn. Now when it came to Fear State, it was a huge Batman crossover, but also it was basically Batman and his allies fighting against a character known as Simon Saint and the Scarecrow. Now Simon Saint has a company known as St. Industries that's building a police force to help police Gotham City. Now, with that being said, though, that is why we're here at Rockwood Elementary, because Simon Saint is hiring a certain kind of doctor who was a bad guy, one of the most famous Batman bad guys, who was locked up in this hospital. And that bad guy is no other than Hugo Strange. Now, when it comes to Hugo Strange, Yes, he is a doctor, he is a psych doctor, but the problem is though, Hugo Strange usually used messed up ways to actually help people, quotation marks. But for Simon Saint, that is okay, because Simon Saint wants to use Hugo Strange to basically deal with the clown problem goth across Gotham. I almost said a goth across Gotham because again thanks to Joker War you have this huge clown problem and right now someone needs to deal with the clown problem and so why not bring in Hugo Strange. Now as we dive into the second chapter of the storyline we actually do pick up with Mayor Nakano right now telling Gotham City what Hugo Strange is going to do. That Hugo Strange is actually going to go out of his way to help the clowns in the city get better. Now you also have to remember that at this point in DC Comics Arkham Asylum is no longer around. It was basically wrecked, I want to say before Joker War or after Joker War. Either way, it's no longer around. And so, of course, you have Hugo Strange saying that with Arkham Asylum being gone, the clowns have to go somewhere. And so he's building a new kind of facility known as SAFE. And SAFE is going to be where these clown criminals are gonna go now you also have hugo strange trying to win over the public by telling the public that he has basically changed that basically with him being in jail for a good period of time he realized how he was wrong and now it's time for him to basically repay for his actions and so right now you do have hugo strange talking to the public about the idea of actually helping gotham now we already know when it comes to hugo strange he ain't gonna help out he's a bad guy but it's him just putting up a fake face to show gotham that he's actually serious but in reality he's going to use safe for his own personal gain but then we actually pick up with harley quinn now right now you do have harley quinn at this Random coffee shop, I guess. Either way, though, right now she's watching the news that's basically talking about Hugo Strange. Now, she says that his apologies for his past actions are not actually, you know, sincere. And the reason why, because he did not say sorry. But also, it's kind of her saying that 
until his actions actually show that he's actually trying to be a better person, we cannot trust him. And of course, she's right, because it's the same thing for her when it came to Batman. Batman said, fine, you can stay in Gotham and try to be a good guy. But until you actually show me that you have changed and got better, then I'll realize that you have gotten better and begin to trust you. And so for right now, it's Harley Quinn saying the same thing. Until Hugo Strange's actions actually show that he's a better person, then Gotham should begin to trust him. But it all depends on what he actually does. The problem is, though, she does get kicked out of this coffee shop. And the reason why, because she still looks like a clown. And with her looking like a clown, you do have the people say, get out of our shop. We don't want any clowns in here at all, which shows that the public really does hate clowns at the moment. Now, right after she does get kicked out of the coffee shop, she does run into Kevin. Now, remember, Kevin is going to be this character who's going to help Harley Quinn help the clowns in Gotham City. And so, of course, right now, he's trying his best to do anything possible that can actually help Harley Quinn out like getting her morning coffee. Now, unfortunately, because he did not know what her favorite coffee is, he got her four different kinds of coffee to hopefully help her out. Now, with that being said, though, Kevin is really serious about the idea of actually helping Harley Quinn help the clowns. Now, while they're walking down the street, you do have Harley Quinn talk about the idea that Hugo Strange is doing what she wanted to do. And she's hoping that she'll do a better job than Hugo Strange does. And the reason why, because it was her idea to help the clowns, not Hugo Strange. But on top of that, we already know, when it comes to Hugo Strange, if he says he's gonna help somebody, nine out of 10 times, he's actually gonna hurt that person to gain something for himself. Now, while you have Kevin and Harley Quinn walking down the street, that is the moment they do see a particular building. Now, this building does bring instant flashback to Kevin. And he's kind of like, I remember this building. And that is the moment we actually do jump months ago in the past. And I want to say it does take place right when Joker's War is actually happening. But we actually do see Kevin months ago with a small crew. And this is where we learn why that building was so important. Because the crew he was actually with was going around this particular area of Gotham and just burning down homes left and right. Now, this also shows what kind of person Kevin was or what he is. Because basically, Kevin is somebody who just wants to fit in somewhere. And of course, it seems like before he joined Joker's army, he had nowhere to go. He had no friends. He fit in nowhere in Gotham City. And so when Joker was basically recruiting people, it came to Kevin's mind that maybe he should join Joker's army to just fit in. And so that what he did. He joined the army. But once he did, he realized how bad the army actually was, how bad Joker's army was. They're going around burning folks' houses down, hurting people, destroying things left and right. And so for Kevin, he's kind of like, I'm not the right person for this crew. Like, I should not be here. Now, while they're going around burning different buildings down, a building that was burning down, one where technically Kevin did start on fire, it basically had someone inside there. He hears someone screaming. And so for Kevin, he realized what he did was wrong. Yes, he did just burn down a building to basically still fit in with this army. But after he did that and realized what he was doing is wrong, and now somebody is trapped inside the building in this fire, he goes inside to actually save that person. But he also does get arrested because when the cops show up, they're like, oh, you're a clown. You're a bad guy. Bam, handcuffs. You're arrested. Now, back in the present day, you do have Kevin actually ask Harley Quinn, how can he be good? Like, can she actually teach him how to be good? And what he means by that is because earlier he saw her with Batman and her stating that she now works with Batman, that she is a good guy now, that it seems to him that his her past life has been basically just erased that she's no longer a bad guy at all. But you have Harley Quinn say, no, I'm still technically a bad guy in most people's eyes, but I have to go out of my way and do different things to show that I'm no longer a bad guy, a bad person. And so for Harley Quinn, she's telling Kevin, you may have burned this building down a while back, 
But that's the thing, though. That's in your past. You now have a chance to show the public that you are a good person by doing good things. It's your actions that show if you're good or bad or if you have changed. So if you're trying to be like me, a good guy, then you're going to have to actually show the world and me that you are actually a good person. So let's work on that. And we can also work together to help other clowns in Gotham City. But then we actually pick up with Hugo Strange. Now, when we do, we actually pick up in his safe facility. Now, this is Hugo Strange basically confirming that we were correct. That when it comes to Hugo Strange, of course we already know that he is not actually going to help people. But we already knew he would torture people because he usually does. And so when it comes to his safe facility, he told the public it was going to be a place to help the clown people of Gotham City. But then out of nowhere, we do see a patient right now trying to escape. Now, this patient that is trying to escape is actually not even a clown at all. Matter of fact, he even says, I'm not a clown. And I'm pretty sure my neighbor called you guys on me because me and him had a disagreement. And this is his way to basically get back at me. It's this guy saying, you have the wrong person. I'm not a clown. I'm a good guy. Like, please stop. But then we realize that Hugo Strange honestly grabbed this guy to just be a test subject for something new. Now, for right now, we have no idea what Hugo is actually doing, but we're going to learn here in a few more chapters. Either way, that is the moment you have Hugo actually be um I almost said confirm, be informed that Harley Quinn is also in Gotham, another clown person. But Harley Quinn is technically, you know, high priority. She's a very high level person. And so if he's able to grab her and work on her, he'll have more fame to his name. Even though he calls her Joker's leftover, she's still somewhat important to his master scheme. And so he says, go out there and grab her. And so we actually do jump back over to Harley Quinn. Now, when we actually do that, you do have Harley Quinn right now with Kevin as they're going through the building that he had almost burned down completely. But while they're doing that, well, that is the moment they are confronted by some people who actually work for Hugo Strange and Safe Facility. And so right now they're trying to grab Kevin and Harley Quinn. Now to the public, if they're watching this, it's kind of like, oh yeah, it's just Hugo Strange trying to grab more clown people. But you have Harley Quinn and Kevin say, nope, I am going nowhere near Hugo Strange at all. Now, Harley Quinn knows Hugo. She's kind of like, mm, he really can't be trusted. For Kevin, though, he's just listening to what Harley Quinn tells him to do, which is right now, get away. And so they're able to get away, but that means that now Hugo Strange is going to try even harder to grab Harley Quinn and now Kevin as well. Now, getting into the third chapter of this storyline, we actually do pick up with Hugo Strange in his safe facility. Now, remember, earlier we saw that he has somebody who was claiming that he's not even a clown at all, that basically his neighbor lied on him. But we already know that when it comes to Hugo Strange, he probably grabbed you to be a test subject, not because you're a clown person. Either way, though, they're right now testing some kind of drug. Now, we're going to learn more about this drug as we go through this story and the next one as well. But this drug right now is supposed to do something very different than other drugs actually do to people. But the problem is, though, the drug is too strong for certain people or really most of the test subjects, really all the test subjects. And so you have Hugo say, we need a new shipment and we also need new test subjects, but I do not want to wait another week to actually get those different things. And so he's telling his guy to go out there and get more drugs, but to also get more test subjects. And then he says, also, somebody please find me Harley Quinn and actually bring her here. Now, getting over to Harley Quinn and Kevin, we actually do see the characters right now beginning to do a support group. Now, this support group is one of the many ways where you have Harley Quinn 
trying to help Gotham get better, to basically help support Gotham City. And so with this support group, they're going to talk about the clown problems in Gotham City. Now, at first, it's only her and Kevin. And you have Kevin wondering if anybody is actually going to show up because this is a support group that is talking about the clown problem in Gotham, where most people do not even like to talk about it or even see the clowns in Gotham. And so for the couple hours they begin this process, no one actually shows up. But then you have a few people actually show up and you do have the group begin to have this session. They begin to talk to one another. Now, the first few people who talk actually are here to get some kind of support to actually talk about their problems with the clowns in Gotham City. But the last person is actually not there to talk about the clown problems. And matter of fact, this guy name is Lockwood and Lockwood used to work at Arkham Asylum. And on top of that, he is Hugo Strange right hand man. And so, of course, we know that he is actually here to grab one particular person, maybe two. But right now, his main goal is Harley Quinn. Kevin is just a bonus round. And so as soon as Harley Quinn realized it is Lockwood, a guy who used to work at Arkham Asylum, she's kind of like, dang it, I know you're here for Hugo Strange and you're here to grab me. And I know you probably brought reinforcement to help you grab me and my friend here because we are technically, quotation marks, clowns. Now, the next few pages are really more of Harley Quinn fighting against the forces of Doctor, I'm going to call him Doctor Strange. Hugo Strange, <laughs> that would be hilarious. She fights Doctor Strange, and she would have lost that battle quickly. Either way, though, you do have Harley Quinn actually fighting against Hugo Strange's forces, and also Lockwood as well. Now, as this fight is going on, it does take a good chunk of the last few pages of chapter three and so this fight does take place in a lot of different settings because it's just showing some action in this book but again Lockwood and these guys are here to grab Harley Quinn and also Kevin to basically bring them back over to Hugo Strange to make them be more test subjects for his new kind of drugs now just in case they're unable to actually grab Harley Quinn or Kevin, they also grab the other people who were actually part of the therapy session. And this just shows that Hugo Strange does not care if you are a clown or not. You are going to be the next test subject for his new kind of drug. And so with that being said, you do have these guys basically fighting against Harley Quinn, but also grabbing the people who were there for the community group session. Now, Harley Quinn is able to get away, but unfortunately, the forces of Hugo Strange was actually able to grab Kevin and everyone else and get away. And now she's wondering what can she do to actually save the people that she was trying to help. Now, after Harley Quinn is actually able to get away from the forces of Hugo Strange, she does go into the sewers. Now, when she goes into the sewers, you would think, okay, she's going to meet up with Killer Croc and Killer Croc is actually going to help her save the people that got captured by Hugo Strange forces. But in reality, she does not run into Killer Croc. She runs into somebody else. And that would be Solomon Grundy and Solomon Grundy is actually going to be very important in helping Harley Quinn realize who she is, but also helping her save the people that was captured by Hugo Strange. Now, that is the moment where we actually do pick up with Harley Quinn and Solomon Grundy in the fourth chapter. Now, in the fourth chapter, it does look like that Harley Quinn and Solomon Grundy are playing chess and they are playing chess. But some time has passed by since the end of the third chapter. Now, with that being said, though, while they're playing chess, you do have Harley Quinn begin to talk to Solomon Grundy about what she feels like, that she feels like she is a bad person, that she's bad completely, that she is unable to actually accomplish what she was trying to do, that she's not Batman, she's not good enough. Now, in Solomon Grundy's own words and his own way of saying it, he does tell her like, listen, 
You may have been a bad person, but you have changed. But you're not Batman. You're Harley Quinn. You are a completely different person. But if you want to show the world that you are good, then do something about it. It all comes down to your actions. And it's what really she said earlier to Kevin. If you want to be good, then show the world that you are good. It all comes down to your actions. And so it's Solomon Grundy saying, hey, get up, get ready, and go save those people. Show Gotham, show Batman, show the public that you are a good guy now. And so she says, you know what? It's time for me to go save my friend and the people who were also taken away by Hugo Strange forces. But then we actually jump over to Kevin, who's right now being held inside of a cell room and safe facility. Now, this is Kevin basically being confronted by Hugo Strange, where you actually have Hugo Strange telling Kevin that there is no way that Harley Quinn will any time come soon to save Kevin from the safe facility. And the reason why you have um, Hugo Strange saying that to Kevin is to basically break Kevin. But this is also Hugo Strange telling Kevin, you have to realize that Harley Quinn is a bad guy because this is Hugo Strange looking at her past mistakes, looking at what she did in the past, her past actions, where she has hurt people. She had destroyed things. She had killed people in the past. There's no way that she can be a good guy now. And so it's basically Hugo Strange saying that the only way someone can have a clear slate in their life or a new beginning if they were basically able to start over or they were able to get reprogrammed. Now, when he says reprogram, that is the moment he gives his new drug over to Kevin. And we see Kevin go on this kind of trip, this mind trip where basically he is seeing things, but also seeing Harley Quinn in a bad image. It seems like Dr. I almost call him Dr. Strange. Hugo Strange is actually trying to reprogram Kevin and make Kevin actually work for him. Now that what the drug could possibly do. But again, we have no idea yet. But then we actually jump over to Harley Quinn. Now, when we actually do that, we do see Harley Quinn right now trying to break into the safe facility to save Kevin and the others. Now, I do want to mention that the rest of the pages of the fourth chapter are really goofy. And the reason why, because it's trying to show off that when it comes to Harley Quinn, she is a goofy character. But on top of that, most of the time, her books are usually goofy. And so right now, you just have Harley Quinn being this goofy character and just trying to break into the safe facility. Now, while she is breaking into the facility, she also finds out that basically Hugo Strange does have some kind of drug because she does see a lot of different green chemicals in a certain laboratory. But of course, she has no idea what this chemical actually does. Either way, though, while she's breaking into the facility, she does get confronted by no other than Hugo Strange, who does tell her it's time for them to have a little conversation. But getting into the fifth chapter, we actually do pick up with this weird setting. And this setting is really more of the book telling us that when it comes to Hugo Strange, he wants to be a better Batman, something better for Gotham. And the reason why I'm saying that, because in the opening pages of the fifth chapter, you actually do have... Um, Hugo Strange wearing a Batman suit. And while he's wearing this Batman suit, he's battling against Batman. Now, this is not actually a real thing, but it's really more saying that it's Hugo Strange wanting to actually be better than Batman, do something better for Gotham, be better for Gotham, to show Batman that he's actually better. Like he's just trying to feed into his own actual ego. And so right now, you do have him say that he wishes that he can show Gotham how bad Batman is, but how great he actually is. Now, again, though, this is not an actual real thing happening. It's really more of Hugo Strange telling uh, Harley Quinn what his overall goal is. 
But then actually getting into the office of Hugo Strange, we actually do see him right now talking to Harley Quinn. Now, this is Harley Quinn trying to figure out if Hugo Strange is actually crazy or the idea that maybe he just really wants to be better than Batman, but he's going at it at the wrong way. Either way, though, it is Harley Quinn realizing that Hugo Strange is crazy. Now, you have Hugo Strange tell Harley Quinn that basically the reason why he wanted her so badly is because he wanted to use her as an example to show everyone else who is a clown in the city that their days are over, that their days are basically numbered. Now, he thinks that Harley Quinn is actually scared of him, but you have Harley Quinn show him that she is not scared of him at all, that matter of fact, she feels bad for him. And of course, she does kind of laugh in his face. Now, with that being said, that right there does tick off Hugo Strange and he wants to send her away. But you have Harley Quinn ask to go to the bathroom. He does say yes, it'd be nice. But he says, my guards have to go with you because honestly, we cannot trust you. Now, we already knew that this was a bad idea to let her go to the bathroom at all, because what she actually does is that she used the bathroom as a way to actually escape from the guards that are working for Hugo Strange. And honestly, it's pretty funny because even though this book is actually just trying to be really goofy, it's still pretty funny because these guards are kind of like, yeah, let's take her to the bathroom. There's nothing going to happen there at all. And of course, something does happen and they all get knocked out, which does lead to Harley Quinn being able to actually escape from the guards. But right after the bathroom incident, you do have Harley Quinn begin the process of saving the people that she actually came here to save. Now, with that being said, though, she does go and get Kevin first. Now, when Kevin does see her, he's excited because at first, Hugo Strange really did try to put this in his head that Harley Quinn was not going to save him at all because Harley Quinn is a bad person. She is somebody that you cannot trust and you need to realize that right now. But of course, with Harley Quinn being here, it's kind of like, yeah, did you really believe that she was not going to save you. She's trying to be a good guy now. And being a good guy means saving your friends who basically do get captured. Now, as soon as she does that right there, you do have Lockwood appear. Now remember, Lockwood is the right-hand man to Hugo Strange. And he does try to grab uh, Harley Quinn. Unfortunately for him, Harley Quinn did bring some backup. And that bra that backup, I almost said brack up. That backup is actually Solomon Grundy. He does appear to fight against Lockwood and to give Harley Quinn and Kevin the chance to actually save the others and get away. Now, getting back over to Hugo Strange, we do see that Hugo Strange is basically in the computer room where he does find out that Harley Quinn is trying to escape. And so with her trying to escape, he's kind of like, oh, great. She's getting away. But this is also the moment we kind of find out that Hugo Strange is working with somebody, but we have no idea who this new mysterious character is. But this character is very upset that Harley Quinn is getting away. And on top of that, she's ruining a lot of different things that this guy had actually paid for for Hugo Strange to actually use. And so you have Hugo Strange say, that he is actually going to handle this problem by himself. And so is Hugo saying, I'm going to find Harley Quinn and bring her here to you. Now, once we actually do get the battle between Harley Quinn and Hugo Strange, it does not last that long. Matter of fact, the fight does get wrapped up very quickly because as soon as Hugo is able to find Harley Quinn, which by the way, she is in his office looking through his things, you do have Harley Quinn actually being able to defeat Hugo Strange. But once she does that, she does tell Hugo Strange that when it comes to him being on her level or somebody that she should worry about, she's kind of like, no, I realize that you're somebody I should not worry about at all. And so she leaves the office. Now, while she's leaving the office, you do have Hugo say that sooner or later, she is going to regret what she did to him that sooner or later, Gotham is going to beg for his help. 
But right after that, you do have Harley Quinn, Kevin, Solomon Grundy working together to actually save the people who were also captured when Harley Quinn was doing that support group earlier in the storyline. Now, once she's actually able to save the people, it does show that her actions are trying to be a good person, that she's trying to be a better person. And so, yes, she was able to save everybody lives and show everyone, or not everyone, but these people that she's no longer that evil clown person that was working with the Joker, that now she is a better person. And she is going to show them what she means by that, by being a better person. But getting back over to Hugo Strange, this is the moment where we actually see him talking to our new mysterious character. Now, when he does, at first, he does call this new mysterious character by his real name, Eli. But then you have our new character say, do not call me by that name. Call me Keepsake. So yes, this is going to be our new bad guy of the Harley Quinn series who is coming after Harley Quinn and has some kind of master plan along with Doctor Strange or Hugo Strange. Sorry, I want to call him Doctor Strange so bad. I'm sorry, guys. But yes, Keepsake is our new bad guy who is going to work with Hugo Strange. Now, Harley Quinn number six is actually a new story, but it's a one shot. And so I am going to go ahead and throw it into this video right here. And the reason why, because when it comes to this book right here, it is Harley Quinn going to Alleytown where she'll team up with Catwoman. Now, spoiler alert, because if you're following my coverage over the Catwoman series 2018 series, then you now find out that basically she does leave Villa Hermosa and she does come to a new town called Alleytown. Now, I want to say Alleytown is a completely different city, but at the same time, I want to say it's also part of Gotham as well. I truly forgot at this moment. Either way, though, you have Harley Quinn coming to Alleytown because the drugs that Hugo Strange is using is coming from here. And so it's Harley Quinn right now trying to figure out who in the world is making the drugs. Here comes the problem though. Right now, she's being chased down by the magistrate. Now the magistrate is basically these robot soldiers who work for Simon Saint, the main bad guy or one of the main bad guys in Fear State. And he's actually trying to use a robot police force to actually police Gotham. To show Gotham that they no longer need Batman the Bat Family. Like, as long as they have his actual robot police officers, then everything is going to be okay. And right now, you have these police officers chasing down Harley Quinn and about to actually capture her. Now, right when you're about to have Harley Quinn get grabbed by these guys, well, that is the moment she is saved by Catwoman. Now, as soon as Catwoman arrives to save Harley Quinn, the next couple pages are actually used to kind of show off the fighting skills of Selena Kyle because DC says that she's one of the best fighters in DC Comics, which honestly, I say yes and no at the same time because there is one story where she does defeat Talia al Ghul, and I still call Cap on that story right there. That was back in DC Rebirth. Anyways, though, you do have Selena Kyle ask Harley Quinn, why are you here? Why are you here in Alley Town? And you have Harley Quinn tell Catwoman that the reason why she is here is because in Alleytown, somebody is making a new kind of drug for Hugo Strange. And this is a huge problem for Harley Quinn because she wants to stop that drug from being shipped out from here to Hugo Strange. And so now she's asking Catwoman, can you help me out to figure out who is basically shipping out the drugs? Now, you do have Selena Kyle tell Harley Quinn, no, because she's kind of like, that's your own mess to deal with. I want no part of it at all. But then you have Harley Quinn say, aren't you a hero now? Aren't you a good guy? Now, this is actually very important. And the reason why, because yes, you have this series that you currently have with Catwoman going on where she's kind of bad. She's kind of good. She's writing that line. But DC is really trying their best to turn Harley Quinn and Catwoman into 
well, heroes now, no longer bad. But at the same time, though, it's kind of hard to do that for a cat woman who is a well-known thief, a well-known bad guy sometimes. And so even though she has a lot of stories recently that says, oh yeah, she's a good guy now, she still sometimes go back to her old ways. And when she does go to her old ways, she has a hard time adjusting and going back to being good. And so she does tell Harley Quinn, listen, right now I'm not good. And honestly, I hate the term being a hero. And no, I'm not going to help you. But then you have Harley Quinn say, if you help me out, I'll never come back to Alleytown again. And for Catwoman, she's kind of like, oh, that's a win-win. You know what? Fine. I'll help you out as long as you stay away from Alleytown once this is all done. And so right off the bat, you do have Harley Quinn and Catwoman being able to actually find a guy who may have some information about where the drug is actually being made at, where that drug is actually coming from, or who is actually making the drug. And so, of course, when we see them, they're already right now interrogating a guy to hopefully get some kind of information from him. But then we actually jump over to Hugo Strange. Now, when we do, we actually do see Hugo Strange right now in one of his laboratories, but then he is confronted by Scarecrow. Now, the reason why Scarecrow is here is because Scarecrow is also getting money from Simon Saint. Because when it comes to Fear State, Fear State is all about Simon Saint and Scarecrow as the main two bad guys. But Simon Saint is the one who is giving money over to Scarecrow. Now, with that being said, though, the reason why you have Scarecrow here right now talking to basically Hugo Strange is because he found out that basically Hugo Strange is using a different version of the fear toxin or the fear gas that Scarecrow actually used on his victims. And so if Scarecrow want to know why in the world are you using a different version of my fear toxin? What are you trying to make? Now, while you have the two characters actually talking to one another, you then have Scarecrow say that, by the way, you have someone here who's hiding right now in a different part of your laboratory. And of course, that is Keatsick. Now, again, Keatsick is our new bad guy that is apparently also helping out Hugo Strange. Now, with that being said, though, the way you have Hugo Strange actually treating Keatsick is kind of like, Yes, he's here. Yes, he does also give me money and he's also helped me out with my new project, but he's very annoying. And matter of fact, there is a lot of time which I wish he was not here at all. And so while you have the two characters actually talking to one another, you do have Hugo tell Eli, sorry, keepsake, to basically leave. Yes, his name is Eli, but that's all we know so far. We have no idea what his full name is just yet. But the way, again, how Hugo is treating him is kind of like, yes, he is another bad guy. Yes, he does look up to you, Scarecrow. And yes, he wants to help you kill off Batman and the other heroes in Gotham. But he's also an annoying little dude. And so you have Hugo and Scarecrow kick him out of the laboratory. But then we jump back over to Catwoman and Harley Quinn, who are right now trying to find the source of where the drug is actually coming from, the drug that Hugo Strange actually uses. Now, when they're actually able to find the warehouse where the drug is actually being shipped out of, you do have the two characters break in. And of course, it does begin the process of us getting another few pages where you see these two characters fighting against a bunch of thugs. Really is more of Cat Woman fighting against the thugs and really Harley Quinn just standing there and being amazed on how Cat Woman is able to defeat all these different guys at once. But then you have our two female characters realize, hey, we have to find the drug. They were putting that drug on the van. Let's go right now and get that van before that van leaves and goes to Gotham and give Hugo Strange more uh, samples of the drug. Now, when they do get to the van, they do run into Lockwood once again. And remember, Lockwood is kind of like the right-hand man to Hugo Strange. Either way, though, right now you have Lockwood once again trying to defend the boxes of the drugs that Hugo Strange wants at safe facility. And so you do have Lockwood actually fight against 
are two female characters. Now you do have Lockwood actually grab a sample of the drug. Here comes the problem though. This drug is still being worked out because the drug is still too strong for a Hugo Strange project. And so Lockwood knows that if anybody has any kind of contact with the drug, they're going to have a very hard time surviving after getting hit with the drug. And so basically you do have Lockwood throw a sample at Catwoman, but she is actually saved by Harley Quinn. The problem though, again though, the drug is so strong that as soon as Harley Quinn gets hit with the drug, she does pass out. And let's not forget that this drug does have a mixture of the fear toxin actually inside of it. Now, the story does wrap up with Catwoman basically taking Harley Quinn back to her apartment where you have Harley Quinn wake up and see that she was actually saved by Catwoman. And this right here does build a bond between the two characters because remember, to Catwoman, Harley Quinn was an annoying character, somebody she wished was not around. But after seeing that Harley Quinn is trying to be a good guy now and saved her life from that drug, you have Selena Kyle say, you know what? Honestly, maybe we can be friends, but let's take it slow and see where it goes. And you do have Selena Kyle leave and Harley Quinn go back to Gotham City. And that ends volume one of the Harley Quinn 2021 series. But with that being said, though, I do hope you enjoyed today's comic book video. And if you did, please leave me a like down below and subscribe. But guys, I'll see y'all next time. Later.